What up guys and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. For today's quickie meal prep recipe, we've got a recipe that's been inspired from one of my recent travels. Earlier this year, I was able to go on this amazing food tour in Thailand and learned a lot about the rice industry there. And one of the things that I had was a, was a sticky rice with some mango and it was one of the most amazing treats I've ever had. And so when I bit into this sticky mango coconut rice, it, it was just pure bliss and pure joy. And so I wanted to try to recreate that. So today we're gonna be making a Thai inspired recipe and it is a mango coconut rice. And we're gonna pair that with a little bit of shrimp. And I'm gonna show you just how easy this recipe is. You can be in and out of the kitchen in less than 45 minutes. But here's the thing that I really love about this recipe is that you can eat it either hot or cold. So many of us are on the go throughout the day. So many of us don't have access to a microwave or to an oven to heat up our food. This is like that same feeling of joy that you get when you eat day old pizza or cold pizza in the morning time. It's still really good, but in a brand new way. That's how this rice dish is. If you are ready to roll up your sleeve and get your hands dirty, then let's get started. What did the, what did one coconut say to the other coconut? What? Got milk. <laughs> Forgive me, but I promise you we're gonna make it up with the recipe. Did I ever tell you that my wife's on a tropical food diet, fruit diet? Huh? A tropical fruit diet? What does that mean? Uh, there's fruit all over the house, like, it's enough to make a mango crazy. <laughs> Oh, I see what you did there. Oh, you tried to get... It's enough to make a mango crazy. Had I known you were walking me into a really bad dad joke, it's enough to make a mango crazy. Let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do is prep our shrimp. We're gonna keep this really simple. Fire up a skillet, spray it with some oil. You can use some coconut oil, or you can just use some avocado oil. Toss in the shrimp. I love that sound. And all we're gonna do is get a good sear on the shrimp. And as it cooks, add a pinch of sea salt and also some pepper. And just cook it until the shrimp is no longer gray, but it is a vibrant white and pink color. But what you don't want is black and white shrimp or gray shrimp. Remove it from the skillet. So set the skillet back on the heat and we're gonna add in a little bit more oil. This time not using spray, we're gonna pour in some oil. Make sure that the heat on the skillet is pretty low because now we're just gonna caramelize some onions and some fresh ginger. Now if you're doing this step and you find that the bottom of the skillet has burned pieces of shrimp, not brown but burned pieces, then I would recommend scraping or cleaning out the skillet before you're doing it so that way you won't get that flavor. Right now it's just this is the perfect amount because it's helping to flavor the onions and that will be for the benefit of our rice. All right now as this is cooking we're going to add in just a little bit more personality by adding in some lime zest. This is really going to liven up the flavors make the rice that much more refreshing. The perfect complement to the coconut. All right next you're going to take your rice. We are using some jasmine rice and what we're doing now we're just going to lightly toast the rice. So keep that heat at a medium, and you wanna make sure that every single grain of rice is covered with a little bit of oil. Leave no rice. Wait, was it rice or is it grain? Leave no grain untouched. Perfect, now it's time to add in our liquid. We're gonna do half low-fat coconut milk. And this is canned coconut milk. And then the other half is water. Once it starts to simmer, we're going to reduce the heat to medium, and then we're gonna cover and cook. Don't touch this rice again for another 30 or 40 minutes. We want all of the liquid to be absorbed. All right, so while the rice is cooking, we are going to prep the mango because that's gonna add the sweetness to the coconut rice. So I'm pretty sure you watched the video out there on how to do it. So don't judge me in, in my skills, but this is the way that I learned how to do it. Grab the mango, take out the little, the end of it so it sets up right, and then grab one of the sharpest knives you have and then not directly in the middle, but maybe just slightly aside from the middle. Just go all the way down. It should just be a really smooth cut, just like that. And the same thing here. You can almost kind of feel the seed at the very top of it. Voila. Now we are going to make a checkerboard. So grab a smaller knife and just 
carve out a checkerboard and pop it on out, just like this. And then just cut out the individual pieces, but it just makes it easier to dice. Grab a knife and then chop them up into small pieces. One for the recipe, one for Cool Kev. All right, and then set this aside. And after about 30 minutes, take it off and voila. Oh my gosh, I wish y'all could smell just how amazing this is. It's almost like a dessert almost. I cannot for the life of me describe it in words. It, it, for me, it's almost like cologne. That's how aromatic it is. All right, so this rice is fine as is, but this is the Fit Man Cook Kitchen, so we're gonna add a pop of color. So I've got some beautiful diced bell peppers here. I put them in now raw, so that way you'll, there's a little bit of crunch, a lot more texture in this dish. We're gonna add in some of our diced mango, and only if you can stand it. I'm gonna tear off a little bit of cilantro and finish off the rice with just a little bit of that, and then fold and mix everything together. And then the final step is just to add in our protein. So I've got our grilled shrimp here. Just toss this in and mix everything together. This is precisely why we did not try to over season the shrimp because there's so much flavor in the rice and you don't want that to compete. And then to make this a complete meal, you can pair this with your favorite grilled vegetables. I've got some grilled asparagus here and this is just gonna be the ultimate, oh my gosh. This right here, if you're single, this may get you married or just get you, well, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I cannot tell you how anxious I am to try this because the smell alone is just incredible. This is some of the best rice you'll ever have, hands down. This ain't keto, it's far from it, but I tell you what, you won't regret it. <laughs> That's for darn sure. You wanna try this one? Bite. Yeah, that's a bite. It's a bite. I tell you, it makes you smile, doesn't it? Yeah, not smile. Yeah, yeah, it makes you so smile. Good. It's just so refreshing. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I know you're gonna love this rice. If you like videos like this, I invite you to smash that like button below. And remember, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget you gotta ring that bell so you can be notified every time we post hot new content. Because let me tell you, a lot more is on the way. All right, y'all, thank y'all so much for watching. Until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye y'all.